Welcome to The Near Memo, a weekly conversation about search, social, and commerce. What happened, why it matters, and the implications for... So, Mike, uh, Google released a bunch of new policies and guidelines. And what are they and what do well, they Well, they, actually, I would rephrase that to say that Google is now telling you what the guidelines are. These have long been the guidelines. They've just been secret. So um, that's important. Secret guidelines are very helpful to people. <laughs> they're very difficult. And unless you've looked at 100 cases, you don't even know that they're guidelines. Right. So only, you know, 10 or 20 people in the world know that these were the guidelines and you had to pay them three hundred dollars to help you get reinstated. But so anyways, Google has uh, announced that publicly and documented this, that they will now suspend the business for account level restrictions uh, as well as eligibility and content issues, right? So account level restrictions, for example, your Google account's not in good standing, maybe because you got caught cheating on AdWords. It doesn't matter where it'll be applied to GBP and you can get suspended. If they find that a given account and GBP is abusing a lot of GBP uh, locations, that'll get suspended. And uh, there may be suspensions due to abuses within the data structure of GBP. And then, of course, obviously, if the business is ineligible or the business doesn't exist or they're using a PO box. And then uh, so so in that what's interesting about that and what where the devil is in the detail is whether let's say you are a small business and you hire a less than honest SEO and that SEO's account gets suspended, your location may get suspended as well. And the question in this with these account level restrictions, now that they've admitted that they exist, uh, which they always have, will be whether the small business is told why it's suspended. Now, there are some visual clues when that happens. They don't lose data. It doesn't go out of the index, that sort of stuff. Like if you're an ineligible business or you don't, if Google believes you don't exist, you literally go poof and you're gone. Uh, whereas in these cases, if they're account level restrictions, they, the, the listing still exists in its form. You can see it. You just lose access to it. So it'll so, be interesting to see whether they tell the business that that's why it was suspended. Well, so the idea that you as a small business hire somebody and then that person that you've hired has done something questionable on one of its accounts that's unrelated to your business and you get suspended, that seems to me to be fundamentally unfair. Well, if the it has to be more than one, I mean, that other account, that's the SEO, they had to have gotten caught on 100 cases or whatever the numbers. There's some there's some. Well, but level. I mean, it's it, it's still it's still it's still it's, sort of unfair if you're I mean, it, it, it goes to the how diligent the 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 the, S, the uh, local businesses or the businesses in hiring the, the firm. But if right. you've got an unethical firm which a lot of them are, and you're going to get penalized. I mean, that's, that's right. It's yeah, liquidating it, your bank account because you were banking with First Republic, for example. <laughs> well, the only thing, I mean, yes, true. The only thing that happens, though, is that you're uh, no longer verified, but the listing stays intact. You're still getting leads and stuff. So in the set, in that all they have to do is re-verify independent of the bad SEO, and that comes okay. back. If Google believes that the business is itself is ineligible, doesn't exist using a PO box or, you know, whatever caught abusing too many times, I mean, it goes poof. And then you really have trouble, right? Then you have to prove to Google it exists. Now, the other interesting side of this announcement was that they also finally announced why and uh, why certain assets might not show up, content might not show up on your GBP. So this is a, you know, I've written in the past about images just being stamped, not accepted, and there was no path to recovery. Mm -hmm. They not only are now telling you why this content, or might tell you why it was giving you the reasons why it might have been rejected, but they're also giving you a form you can fill in that you can dispute the the assessment. So that's a, a change. And my guess is that this is due to regulatory environment in Europe, where uh, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know that for a fact, but that's my guess, that they are being expected to provide <laughs> more <Prominence>. accountability. <laughs> more transparency. <laughs> more transparency. But only in the United States can they be allowed to run free and roam the uh, prairies like a cowboy. Yeah. And and our hope for any kind of Europe-like uh, privacy or transparency right. or 
any any kind of legislation like that is about zero at this at this uh, stage of the game. Um, right. So they list out uh, and this content uh, not showing is that could be because the profile that posted it was either deleted or disabled or suspended it or whatever. It isn't verified um, that it's duplicate content that's already live. Or there's there's this one category at the end called submission error, <laughs> which is Google's way of saying they you know the pipelines are full they couldn't handle it they just gave you an error and then probably that's what's scary about this is that you still may not know why or what's going on, and if it's a submission error it you know these are ones that I've written about in the past too they you give them forty eight hours they just self correct. Um, but how is a business to know that and unless they actually are explicit about this? Uh, it, it is only a step in the right direction, not uh, truly something that's in the right direction. Well, that's, that's, it was. that's, that's, that's like Google the video the remedy is to take two beers and come back on Monday. <laughs> yeah. No, they actually provide a new form, but they don't even, oh, they they do. don't even okay. link to that form for any place. So it's like, <laughs> you know, you've got to know to put certain words in the in the support Dot, uh, area. If you put those words in, like image not approved, and then you click in the right spot, you'll get that form. So it's you know it's still a little bit it's, of magic. It's it's like the scene from the uh, the Incredibles where the old woman is in in uh, in uh, Mister Incredible's office and he's telling her all the ins and outs, the the sort of arcane bureaucratic uh, rules of the of the insurance company, and she's able to navigate it, and the boss blows up it, and like how did she know those things? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. So, um, all right. Thanks for joining David, Mike, and Greg. To stay on top of the latest developments in local, subscribe to our newsletter at nearmedia.co. We'll see you next week.